Welcome to the Nevis Newscast. Today is Tuesday, August 22nd, 2017. I am Pamela Diaz. The Royal St. Christopher and Nevis Police Force is currently investigating the shooting incident that resulted in the loss of life on Saturday, 19th, August 2017. The victim, Benjamin Joseph, a resident of Pinney's Road, was shot by unknown assailant or assailants on exiting his vehicle upon arrival at his residence. He was transported to the Alexandra Hospital where he succumbed to his injuries on Monday, 21st, August 2017. The police encourages any person who may have information with regards to this incident to come forward and share any information they may have. Information can be passed to Violent Crimes Unit Nevis at 469-5269, Crime Stoppers at 1-800-8477-TIPS, or by using the SKN Crime Reporter app on your smartphone. The cause of death will be determined by an autopsy, the investigation is ongoing. The Small Entrepreneurship Development Unit, SIDU, in the Ministry of Finance will be working in collaboration with the Organization of American States, OAS, to set up a small business development center on Nevis. The announcement was made by Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Finance, Colin Doerr, who explained that earlier this year he traveled with a colleague to attend meetings based on international practices and policies as it relates to small businesses. He clarified that an integral part of the meeting were discussions of establishing a small business development center for business owners on Nevis. And the whole idea of a small business development center is to assist business persons to take business ideas from incubation stage all the way up to the implementation stage. So for the 2018 budget, we are hoping to roll out our small business development sector small business development center in line with what the OAS had prescribed for the other countries. We are hoping to expand the activities of SIDU to be more than just processing loans but providing guidance for small business persons, assisting in the writing of business plans, and all the other things that would help a business person understand his or her role and requirement from the outset all the way up to making his or her business successful. Dorr said the Nevis Island administration has always invested in promoting and investing in the small business sector. Small business development has always been a major thrust of the administration. From budget to budget, we continue to speak of the need to promote and develop our small business sector. Small business is the engine of growth in any sector. And in Nevis, we have started to take it seriously over the years. And my team at CIDO is quite excited as well. And we are putting things in place. And very shortly, we will establish our small business development center, similar to what has happened in other countries in the OECS territories. That was Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Finance, Colin Doerr. The Eastern Caribbean Central Bank, ECCB, wishes to assure the public that the Eastern Caribbean EC currency remains stable and that the EC banknotes are protected by the various security features of the notes. Deputy Governor of the Currency Management Department, Rosbert Humphrey, says the Royal Grenada Police Force recently retrieved three counterfeit $50 notes bearing serial numbers SR380132 and one $100 note bearing serial number VW033 Six seven two. He, however, gives the assurance that there is no need for the public to be alarmed. Humphrey says that of the banknotes throughout the world, the EC notes are known to the most security features. However, the ECCB urges the public to be vigilant, particularly during the times of festivities when perpetrators tend to engage in the production and circulation of counterfeit notes. He added that there are officers in the e-police force and commercial banks across the Eastern Caribbean Currency Union who are trained to identify counterfeit EC notes. The public is reminded that it is an offense to be in possession of counterfeit EC notes. Individuals who are in possession of counterfeit notes 
or think they may have received such notes during their business transactions are asked to take them to the police criminal investigation department in their respective countries. Individuals in St. Kitts and Nevis can bring the notes to the ECCB headquarters at Bird Rock. Still to come, PM Harris lauds Kim Collins for continuing to make St. Kitts and Nevis proud. The details when we return. Uwali, the Queen of the Caribbees. Bathed by its crystal shores is the Caribbean's best kept secret. Nevis is known for its rich culture, which remains entrenched in the island's everyday life. We boast of having the Caribbean's greatest summer festival, Culturama. The birthplace of Alexander Hamilton, my little 36 square mile island, is the home of the Bath Hotel, which is the first built hotel in the Caribbean. Don't forget to take a dip in the therapeutic Bath Springs. Take a few minutes to trot down to the ever famous Sunshine's Bar and drink a world renowned killer bee. Live Nevis naturally by exploring the magnificent waterfalls and hiking to the top of our 32-32 Nevis Peak. Our lush vegetation and landscape deems a visit here the perfect escape. Nevis, Queen of the Caribbees. Welcome back. St. Kitts and Nevis' Prime Minister, the Honorable Dr. Timothy Harris, lauded Kim Collins, World Athletics Champion, as an international standard bearer for excellence and perseverance and for making St. Kitts and Nevis proud. The remarks were made by the Prime Minister after Collins was elected to the International Association of Athletics Associations, IAAF, with more votes than anyone else on Monday, August 14, 2017. Kim Collins was recognized as a sprint icon and was elected to serve on the Athletes' Commission for the next quadren quadrennial effective January 1, 2018 through December 31, 2020. The St. Kitts and Nevis Prime Minister acknowledged Collins as an outstanding role model for the young people of the Federation. In congratulating the sprint icon, Prime Minister Harris reiterated a sentiment made prior when he said that Collins' legacy will be not only one of excellence but also of unity. At age 41, Kim Collins can boast of having an of having set an impressive record throughout his career. In 1996, Kim Collins ran in his first Olympics. He continued in 2000, where he made it to the Olympic finals. In 2002, he won the Commonwealth Championship, and in 2003, Collins won World Championship gold. In 2011, he won a bronze medal and leading team and leading Team Escan to its first World Championship Relay Medal at the World Championship Finals. Collins is now the fastest 40-year-old in history, a seven-time World Championship medalist, a Commonwealth champion, a world champion, a five-time Olympian, and a member of the board of the World Governing Body in Athletics. Chief Librarian at the Nevis Public Library, Anastasia Paris, gave a quick look back at the, form, at the information gathered at the recently concluded Summer Environmental Awareness Program. On day two, Ms. Nicole Liebert of the Nevis Historical and Cons Conservation Society spoke to the children about the forts of Nevis and defense. We all learned that there are remains of forts in the waters of Pinnis Beach, and as Mr. Bart mentioned, there are two of them. Actually, you have St. Matthew's Fort and you have St. Catherine's Fort. And then over at Paradise Beach, one mile out in the water, there's another fort. Now, all these forts were constructed by slaves. We also learned that from Saddle Hill, Lord Nelson was able to see as far as Shirley Heights in what island? Can I hear you? Antigua. And that what we know as the old lighthouse over at Long Point was actually a fort called Black Rock 
or Black Rocks Fort. The closing ceremony for the Nevis Public Library's 28th Annual Summer Environmental Awareness Program was held on Friday, August 18th at the Methodist Conference Hall in Charlestown. Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Education, Kevin Barrett, was also present at the brief closing ceremony. I want you to take all that you have learned, all the experiences that you would have had on your field trips, all the hands-on activities that you would have done here making and building stuff. And I want you to take that with you as you go back to school in a little while. All that information that you would have gotten over these two weeks, um, they are going to be very useful and they are going to help you in your upcoming school year. The presentation of certificates was done by a representative of the Nevis Cooperative Credit Union and a staff member of the Nevis Public Library. The ceremony was filled with various items from a number of the participants who performed their items in the presence of family members and well-wishers. The program was held under the theme, Our Country, Our People, Our Future. On behalf of all of us here at the Department of Information, I am Pamela Diaz. Thank you for viewing. At a loss as to what's going on in Nevis, tune into NNC on MTV. Don't worry if you don't have cable either. NNC will bring the news to you wherever you are. Facebook and Facebook Live. YouTube and YouTube Live. NevisTVOnline.com. Roku app, NTV mobile app, Smart TV, Apple TV, and any other IPTV platforms. When me ain't see and you ain't see, NNC.